We officially have a new Bachelor along with all the details. Hey guys, welcome back to another Bachelor Nation update. If you haven't already creeped on our newest Bachelor, Clayton Etchard, or even if you have, make sure you stay tuned because we will be taking a deep dive through his feed. But before we get into it, make sure if you're not already, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host, Gianna Gravelisi, and today I am joined by the lovely Gabby Gonta and Mariah Davis. You guys, there's been so much speculation that the new Bachelor would be from Michelle's season, but it was finally confirmed. We do know for sure that Clayton is 28 years old and a former freestyle rapper and football player that is currently working in orthopedic sales. You guys, I ran to his Instagram as soon as I heard this news. I got right to creeping. I'm wondering, did you guys do the same thing? And if so, what were your initial thoughts? Gabby, I'll start with you. Yeah, I did the same thing, of course. That's all what we jump to these days to check him out, especially because we don't know much about Clayton, right? He hasn't been on the season yet. He was on Michelle's season. So normally we get a bachelor and you either already love him or hate him because of what happened, you know, on their season. And so I'm super interested. I think taking a look at his Instagram today is really going to give us a little bit more of a look into maybe who he is. I'm actually super curious if since we didn't see him yet on the season, if he's going to be one of the guys that was eliminated pretty early or if he was one that kind of sticks throughout most of Michelle's season and is a fan favorite, but then kind of gets cut at the end. I totally agree. I immediately rushed to his page and I creeped as far as I could just because you're so right. We we don't know anything about him. We haven't seen him on TV yet, but I'm so curious to see like what role he plays in Michelle's season because to be chosen to be The Bachelor off of a show that none of us have even seen yet, it's like he's got to have something really special about him. So I feel like it tells me that his role in this season is a really big one. And he could maybe even come down to the final two and maybe America or maybe they're expecting America to be so disappointed that she didn't choose him or something is going to happen there. I definitely think he's going to be one of our favorites on her season. I don't think he's going to be someone that got sent home early because it just wouldn't make sense that they would elect him to be the next bachelor, somebody that's essentially totally a stranger. So <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see why they made this decision. Definitely. It definitely will be interesting. And I'm kind of loving how we don't have, you know, a preconceived notion. It's not someone that we've already watched on a previous season. It's going to be someone fresh, someone new that we will be watching essentially very, very soon. But for now, we don't know anything about him. But let's take a deep dive through his Instagram page to see if we can get to learn a little bit more about him. Let's start off with his most recent photo on his page, you guys. I think it's pretty clear we have a very handsome man right here. His eyes are beautiful. The caption says, with my recent discovery of portrait mode, I will strive to never take another low quality photo ever again, which kind of shows just how funny he is. I think that's a bit of a dad joke on Instagram if I've ever seen one. But what, what other <laughs> thoughts do you guys have? Gabby, what, what are you making of this Instagram photo right here? This one's really cute. It definitely kind of shows he's just your average, you know, everyday boy next door type of look, you know, nothing too flashy, not nothing like, you know, super influencer-esque. Um, you know, basically he's saying he barely knows how to work his iPhone, which is really cute. Um, but like you said, he's got a nice handsome face, looks super welcoming. And this just makes me want to know even more. What do you think, Mariah? I totally agree. I don't think he looks like a very, in this day and age, like, to be desirable it's like you have to have this certain look whether you are a man or a woman and i love that they didn't choose someone that's like and not saying he's not handsome because he's very very handsome but he doesn't look like that typical influencer handsome kind of guy he has a very like charming smile love actually i think his smile might be my favorite physical feature i'm seeing in this picture but i did some creeping so he has some <laughs> other physical features that i'm a fan of but i'm sure we'll get to them <laughs> We will definitely get right into them. And what's hilarious, you guys, is that if you actually go on his page and read through the comments under this photo, we already have Bachelor Nation fans commenting, saying, wish you the best of luck. You're such a handsome bachelor. I need to sign up. So I think maybe we're <laughs> going to have to start commenting on this picture ourselves. Clearly, our very own Zachary Reality already liked it from the screenshot. <laughs> so I I'm really yeah. looking forward to seeing more of him. But right off the bat, 
beautiful man, beautiful face. And then we got this next photo shows him in his career. So it looks like he has a pretty stable job, which is great. Very nice quality in a man. And the caption says, three competitor reps working together to provide a superior patient outcome. You guys, I thought he was handsome before, but a man in scrubs, I mean, come on. He looks amazing, <laughs> mask and all. What are you guys thinking, Mariah? What do you make of this photo right here? Oh, I'm with you. A man in uniform in general, my heart just melts. So I'm loving this. Oh, he looks so tall too. Like we need to look up how tall this man is because he looks like a giant. And you know, women all over the world, I don't know what it is about tall men, but we just swoon. I don't know what it is. But also the caption tells us that yes, okay, not only is he, established in a career but he cares about his job and his patience and that's so sweet and I love it so so far he's already earning all of the points just the two pictures we've seen thus far Gabby what are your thoughts definitely I love seeing him post about being passionate about his career because you know like we were saying before Instagram can be a landing place for you know mostly vain or like selfies and things like that but here is showing that he like gives us some variety um has a great stable career looks like he you know makes friends there um and it looks like it probably pays really well you know doing sales and medicine is probably really awesome i want to know a little bit more about his previous freestyle rap career though because that seems a little um you know on the end of the other spectrum from this photo uh which is kind of funny maybe that didn't go anywhere um but it seems like since he used to do that as well, that there's like a little bit of a creative side to him as well. So he seems very well-rounded. He really, really does. I feel like this is a man of many layers and I cannot wait to peel all of them back. Not to mention to be in orthopedic sales, you have to be smart. I mean, to know the skeletal system, like I think I failed that test back in high school, did not do that. So props to him. He's smart, stable job, handsome. I mean, can it get any better? I, I don't I don't know, but I guess we're going to have to see. Still on Let's creeping see. down his photos here. Like, what else could he possibly bring to the table? In this next photo, we have a caption that says, while I was being distracted with random tasks at a hospital on Monday, some of the staff were outfitting my car with balloons and streamers for my birthday. Such a small act, but one that definitely made my whole birthday. The reason for the burger balloons is because they gave me the nickname Beef Burger with a crying laughing emoji. So you guys, this was posted on May 1st. His birthday is May 1st, which means that he is a Taurus, which they're known for wanting to be respected around other people and they prefer to stay away from controversy. So at least we know we have a man that is not going to be involved in any drama, hopefully on Michelle's season and on his own season. And they are also very loyal to family. Now, not to dive into the Zodiac signs, but I just had to make that <laughs> known. But this photo is also so cute. I mean, we got the balloons. I love I would love to know why his nickname is Beef Burger. Gabby, why why do you think that's his nickname? That was my first thought was to try to come up with the reason for that. Um I feel like since he is such a big guy, you know, played football before, obviously works out a lot. I feel like he also eats like a ton. So I could see him just, you know, buying like five like huge burgers for lunch. Um, and you know, he's probably not a vegetarian or vegan or anything like that because probably needs his meat. So maybe they make fun of him for, you know, how much he eats. I could see that. <laughs> I love that. I am. I mean, I hope he's a big eater. I mean, I am too. So I think I need to sign up for this season. Mariah, what do you think <laughs> about this photo right here? Yeah, I think it's sweet that he has coworkers that he's also friends with because we've all had jobs where maybe we didn't connect with everyone in the staff. And I'll say I've definitely had a job or two where people didn't deck out my car on my birthday. <laughs> so it says something about his character. People like to work with him. They enjoy him as a person. They wanted to make him feel celebrated. Also, mm -hmm. I have to touch on the beef burger thing because we just talked about <laughs> the whole freestyle rapping maybe it's his rapper name and okay. we should just start Ooh. referring to him as beef burger with the beats i don't know i i might be getting a little <laughs> overly creative with that one but i need maybe. a thorough explanation you can tell that here on shared news we really just love deep diving and speculating because the theories that we've already came up with based on this instagram caption are <laughs> killing me but this also just shows this long caption that he's appreciative and he is caring because most people could get this and just 
not have posted anything or maybe just been like, thank you. And that's it. But the fact that he took time out of his day to post it on Instagram, take a picture with his coworker (laughs) and write this long, sweet caption. Like I wanted to cry when he said it's a small act, but definitely one that made his whole birthday. Like that's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. And again, I can't, like I keep saying it can't get any better, but it just keeps getting better and better with every single one of these photos. This next one says definitely miss these days. I think I still have a couple good plays in me and this is looking like obviously a throwback photo from the time that he was on the Seattle Seahawks so you guys reminder he did play professional football so he 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 can play I mean he's an athlete he clearly has the muscles he has that body Mariah you were touching on the fact that he was a bigger guy so this this makes me think like he gives a good hug like this photo is telling me for some (laughs) reason I want to just be in his arms but but uh what do you guys make of this Gabby what do you think yeah I mean football players are definitely hot I think you know if they can be competitive that's going to be super fun I know Michelle what is also super competitive so I could see them you know again him going far on her season then maybe having it not work out but then having a lot of these awesome qualities maybe for another girl um especially if she maybe there's some girls that are going to be like former cheerleaders I could see them kind of playing on that storyline for his season um and you know football players again we were trying to guess the height and everything Looks like he was probably a tight end because of his jersey number. So I'm sure he's at least 6'4 or above, right, you guys? <laughs> you know, Gabby, the fact that you said that, I just Googled, and he actually is 6'4 on the dot, 256 Perfect. pounds. So that's mm-hmm. that's great. So Mariah, like you were saying earlier, he definitely is very tall. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what it is about a tall man, but we all just swoon, don't we? And the fact that he is in this position, like, he's just a big man. You mentioned earlier, uh, Gianna, that you just – something about him, you wanted to be, like, wrapped up in his arms. And I'm like, <laughs> same, honestly. And I think, literally, we can see in the comments, I mean, he's already getting hollered at. I'm sure there are countless, countless women who are going to be thinking the exact same thing. But I'm excited, okay? I'm not a, I'm not happy that maybe it didn't work out between him and Michelle. Like, I'm sure that was a whole situation. I'm sure it was very sad. But I really like him, and I'm excited that we have someone for The Bachelor that we all really like again. I mean, I was a big Matt James fan going into it. I didn't love his season, but I did really like him in the beginning, and I was excited for his season. Uh, though it was kind of disappointing, but here I am again, we have a new bachelor and I'm genuinely very excited because I think like he's multifaceted. He's got all of these incredible qualities that like women love. And I'm excited to see the kind of women that like vie for the title of his girl. I don't know. I guess his fiance. I know we will just have to see. I cannot wait to see how it plays out. And I know girls always have their like, they're a football guy, a basketball guy. But in this case, I think we're all football guys. But this next photo, <laughs> um, wow. First of all, uh, the veins in his arms. Can we talk about that? The caption says, never forget your roots. Hashtag freestyle champ. Hashtag top five. So this photo we have to decipher a little bit because, again, it looks like he's at work. He is clearly in his uniform, but it's like the cover of a mixtape. And it actually says, welcome to the life of Clay-Doh mixtape coming soon. So this was from March 22nd, 2019. We know that his Instagram bio says former freestyle rapper I'm wondering if he still dabbles. Like, is it something he does at work as a joke? Maybe he does it at family parties. Maybe he'll do it on the one-on-one dates that he goes on. Um, But the comments are sending me. I see one that says, good Lord, this is very bad. So I'm just cracking up. I think this, again, is showing how funny he is. But, I, I mean, you guys, like, what can you even make of this crazy picture that he posted? Gabby, what do you think? Yes. So looking closer, it looks like this is actually a Snapchat, right? You guys, because you look in the bottom right corner, Mm -hmm. there's that like Snapchat send thing. And these are definitely the fonts that are on Snapchat. So it seems like, you know, him and a coworker were probably messing around um, during some off time. But yeah, I don't know if he's being serious or kind of joking. Hopefully he's joking. Um, But it does look like if he did do some rapping back in the day that his name was Kaleido. I know we were theorizing about Beef Burger, which is also equally (laughs) funny. Um, and I don't know if this is a play on the word like Play-Doh. It's not spelled the same, but 
I don't know. This is just hilarious to me. <laughs> what do you think, Mariah? Yeah, this is just silly. I mean, I would hope that it was a joke because if it was serious, then uh, I might be a little <laughs> worried that like at some point during Michelle's season, he surprises her with like a freestyle rap about her beauty and their love, which I'm trying to think <laughs> of whose season it was, but I see like videos of it all the time. Tell me if you know, but it was a bachelorette. So I can't remember her name either. And a guy just like found a moment and he just started singing to her out of nowhere with no musical instrument. Do you know what I'm talking about? They're on a one-on-one -on -one date. I cannot remember. If anyone knows in the comments what I'm talking about, let us know. I'm kind of worried. If this was serious, I'm worried that we're going to have one of those moments, like, but with a freestyle rap, which would be really cringy. But I do think just given the comments or the captions that we've read on his Instagram thus far, he does have a sense of humor. So this was more so probably just him being silly, which that I accept. We love a silly man. We love someone who doesn't take themselves too seriously. So uh, only time will tell really what I don't know what to make of this. Uh, I don't either. All I know is that producers usually latch on to something about a contestant. And I just know that it's going to be the freestyle rap thing. So I'm sure we will definitely be seeing his freestyle rap skills on his season or maybe on Michelle's season. Who knows? But... I'm excited regardless to see it, but let's take a look at the next one. The caption says, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, but most importantly to my favorite one. Oh, we love a mama's boy. I mean, sometimes depending on the case, but a guy that loves and appreciates <laughs> his mother. I mean, that's amazing. And clear, this looks like his brother on the other side of him as well. And his beautiful mom, again, like we were saying, he's a Taurus. So big family guy. And we can see it right here. Um, and I, I just love it about him, Mariah. What I mean, can you not love a guy that just loves his mom? Oh, you have to. And I, what's what's the saying? It's like a man will treat you as good as he treats his mother or something like that. So it looks like he's really close with his mom. It looks like he gives her a lot of love and respect and, you know, makes her feel celebrated on important days to feel celebrated. So that's a good sign for any woman out there who's interested in our Clayton here because it just shows like he will treat a woman right. And if he doesn't, his mama will have words to exchange with him about it. <laughs> Gabby, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm glad we have this photo to look at because since he's The Bachelor, you know, we're definitely going to meet his family by the end of the season um, once he's down to the last couple women. So it's great to know that he's close with his family. I think that's going to be a major turn on for any of his contestants. Um, and since it looks like they're pretty close, um, I'm excited for, you know, her and the fam to come on and sort of help him with his journey by the end. I know it's so exciting that we know that we will be looking forward to seeing these people on our screens very, very soon. So I cannot wait to see how that plays out as well. I hope his mom is nothing like Blake's auntie, but I'm sure she won't be if Clayton's as nice as he seems to be. But this next photo is another family photo. It says, happy 57th to the old man. So now we have his dad and some more siblings I'm seeing in the comments, especially we have, it seems like his brother, Patrick, who commented, untag me, which they are obviously <laughs> joking around together. But um, so it seems like he has a family of mostly boys, obviously his brothers and then his dad now. Again, we have another beautiful family photo here. So family man, once again, Gabby, what are your thoughts? I love this. We got the first picture with the mom. I was wondering, is his dad in the picture? You know, are they close as well? And it looks like that here, which is awesome. Um, you know, sometimes the family unit isn't super strong with our bachelor bachelorette and that kind of really plays into their story. But I think it's great if, you know, Clayton's had a good example of maybe a long marriage for his parents that he can kind of tap into and hope to find one for himself. I totally agree. And I have to throw this out there because it's so sweet. It looks like his dad has a homemade cake. And that's so sweet mm. to me because some families, you know, and there's no shame on whatever you do, but some families will go and buy a nice cake and that's fine. Cake is cake. Okay. But it goes to show like, you know, their mama probably made that cake for him or maybe it was a grandma or maybe they made it. Who knows? Maybe Clayton made it and his brother, Patrick, mm -hmm. he said, untag me. But it's so sweet. <laughs> like it kind of gives you a little bit of an insight more into what kind of family unit they are and they making a homemade 
birthday cake for their dad. It's so sweet. It just reminds me of my family because that's definitely something my mamma would do. She's the cake maker. So that's just a little detail that I think is so sweet. I am so glad you just pointed that out because I didn't even realize it. This is how deep we dive into these posts, you guys. Homemade cake. I agree with you. That just shows like it's just such a cute thing. And maybe Clayton's a baker. Maybe he's a freestyle rapper, NFL <laughs> player, and a baker. Again, <laughs> it's like the, checking off all of our boxes here at Shared News. I, I just like what else can he have? in store he's constantly surprising me <gasps> this next photo my jaw is on the ground it says in honor of my first instagram post wow we went all the way to the end you guys i give you <laughs> the only picture ever taken of me holding a baby which also happens to be my tinder profile picture oh. a lot to unpack oh. here you guys first of all his very first post on instagram which shows that he doesn't or hasn't posted a lot of photos, rather. I know some of us have posted hundreds, even thousands of times, but this guy's really simple, only has a couple posts. We got all the way to the end. Second, he is holding a baby. Nothing better than a man holding a baby. Like this to me, when I see it on <laughs> dating apps or on social media, it's like, it's my weakness for men. Like them holding children for some reason, that's my thing. It just, uh, I, I just die. And then we have... He says, it also just happens to be my Tinder profile picture. So clearly he's been single since this photo's from 2019. He's been ready to mingle. He was on Tinder. He's He's been looking for love. No wonder why he's our newest bachelor. He, I mean, he's been looking. So I, Gabby, Gabby, what do you make of this? <laughs> I love your enthusiasm for this photo. Um, I'm right there <laughs> with you. I think it's so funny that he dropped the Tinder mention in there super funny um yeah this is just like the ideal photo that you want to see because it's like a glimpse into the future right where can you know we can see that he would be a great dad even if just for like the gram photos which are important these <clears throat> days you know you gotta be a cute daddy with the baby so um yeah i think any girl any contestant who would be seeing this photo would get excited because you know in theory when you go on the bachelor you want to find that Beyonce, and then start a family. I just feel like he is giving so much here. Okay, one, he's giving honesty because he's being honest about having a Tinder. And some people <laughs> hide that because they feel like they are too embarrassed. They don't want people to know that they're on it. But I love that he's honest. He's like, yeah, I'm on Tinder. I'm trying to find a boo. And two, he's giving baby fever because he's a handsome man. He's holding this baby and it's giving all the women baby fever, I'm sure. And I also love, okay, his first Instagram post ever is in what, 2019. That's so sweet to me because it just, <laughs> it just seems very humble. Like, oh, I don't, you know, I haven't felt a big need to be on Instagram and like showboat. You know, he used to be what, a pro football player and he didn't showboat all of that. And I love that. I feel like that's so attractive. Like to find someone who's not so wrapped up in the current climate of social media and they just want to post what, you know, tells the world a little bit about them, their family, their coworkers celebrating their birthday, this very cute baby. So this picture right here is giving me everything. And ah, I already said it, but I'm going to say it again. I'm so excited for his season. I think you and the rest of us, Mariah, we are all so excited for Clayton's season. I mean, he's our newest bachelor. He checks off all the boxes. So far, he's smart, handsome, cares about babies, cares about his family. What? <laughs> I mean, what more can you get from him? But this next photo captioned tough buddies, hashtag tough mutter, hashtag 10 mile run. So clearly we mentioned he's an athlete, but more importantly, he has the body. Look <laughs> at him, the muscles, the abs. I mean, I, I'm just speechless. Gabby, I, my words won't come out. Can, can you give me something here? Because I'm flabbergasted. Oh my right gosh. Now. This is so cute. I love that it's him with his guy friends. You know, they're not afraid to get a little bit dirty. Um, and I think they're going to fit. Well, he's going to fit in really well on the show because, you know, we they have them doing crazy stuff all the time, like wrestling, you know, getting down and dirty in the mud, both on Michelle's season and probably on his own bachelor season, he just looks down for anything kind of, you know, and just like always adventurous and ready to be spontaneous, take risks or whatever. I think that's really what this photo is showing me. Um, and 
besides that, it's also showing me his abs, which are very attractive. And um, yeah, he looks great. <laughs> totally agree. We love a man with muscles. He really, gosh, and it's, it, we already went over how big of a man he is. Like, obviously, he played, at, what, he was a linebacker. I guess they're supposed to be big. I don't know football, y'all. Um, but he looks <laughs> like a Amazon man next to literally anybody he's in a picture with. He does right here. He looks enormous, but he looks so fun. I agree, Gabby. Uh, we love a man who is adventurous and fun. And like I said earlier, he's clearly multifaceted. I think he's going to fit in perfectly with the rest of the contestants on The Bachelorette. Um, I don't see him getting in any drama. We already established he's a Taurus, so he's not about that. But I think he's going to be really fun. Um, I, I feel like I had just mentioned, you know, how excited I am for his season. And I think he's going to be so great. But I just had this thought, what if we see him do something or say something on Michelle's season that we really, really don't like, and it totally changes our opinion of him? I'm, I'm going off. I'm totally trailing off the path right now, but this is me. This is how my mind works. And once I start to really like something or get excited about something, I start to think of uh, negative scenarios that could play out. So gosh, Clayton, please don't disappoint me. Well, whenever you think of those negative scenarios, just go to his Instagram, look <laughs> at these wonderful photos, and remember that he's smart, handsome, abs, holding the baby. He's got the whole package. So we got to all go into this with an open mind here, but I cannot wait to see more of his fun side other than just this Instagram photo on Michelle's season and his season. But let's take a look at the next photo. And this next photo says... Caption it, my very best friends in the entire world. From his friend Brittany that told him to write that caption. Uh, this is from January of 2020. Um, I don't think that this is a girlfriend situation, you guys. Obviously, it says that they are his best friends. And on that note, we actually really haven't seen any ex-girlfriend posts at all? Is it true? Do you think that he's actually been single since 2019? I mean, I love that this photo is showing him with his friends. We saw him with his guy friends, now his girlfriends. Uh, they look like they're out at maybe a bar or something, having a good time. Uh, but Gabby, do you think, I mean, what do you think about his dating past just based off of what we're seeing on his Instagram page? Yeah, that is a really good question. I think overall, it looks like he doesn't share too much of his life, right? You know, there was just kind of sporadically, you know, posts throughout. His first one was only in 2019. So he doesn't seem like someone to overshare. Um, so if he has had girlfriends in the past, you know, maybe he didn't post about it. Or another good thing to point out is, you know, his most recent photo was from eight weeks ago, which in theory would be about the time he was leaving for Michelle's season. And since he was, you know, going on her season, going to be on TV, probably obviously didn't know he was going to be chosen as The Bachelor at that point. But of course, when you put yourself out there on TV, you probably take um, a minute to clean up any of your social media that, you know, maybe not necessarily shouldn't be out there, but could raise some questions or you just know more eyes are going to be on your stuff. So even though I think he doesn't share too much, and I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't have to delete uh, you know, or archive very much stuff. I think it's still a possibility that there was a few things that he took off his Instagram before uh, heading to filming. Yeah, I totally agree. But I feel like you have to. I mean, obviously, if you have done some shady things in the past, the truth will come out even if you clean up your social media. But I mean, it's it doesn't hurt to just clean things up a little bit. So things don't get misinterpreted. Rumors don't get started. So I don't I don't think it's shady for anyone to clean up their Instagram. I do think that's likely a scenario. You know, he he said he had Tinder in 2019. Do we think a relationship maybe stemmed from Tinder and maybe it didn't work out? I mean, maybe I, I, I need to have some answers on Tinder. How long did he have it? Did he find a relationship through it? <laughs> and if so, how long did it last? I mean, he's he seems like he is kind of more private. He doesn't air everything out, but he also seems like the guy, if he was in a serious relationship, he like would probably flaunt that, show her off. Like he, I don't know, he strikes me as someone who would be very proud of his relationship. So I don't know if I think he's been single since 2019, especially if he's had Tinder. Like, he's too great of a guy, obviously. He has way too much intrigue for someone to not be interested and, you know, go on a date with him and maybe want a little bit more afterwards. So I'm sure he's had a dating life. 
maybe a girlfriend since 2019 and maybe he just cleaned her up from his Instagram. So no rumors were started, no conclusions were drawn. I don't know. Again, this is why we deep dive through the Instagram. We need to find out these answers. But I also wanted to point out the comments in this photo that kind of bring light to the situation. Um, first of all, his friend Brittany that he wrote about in the caption commented saying, I approve this message. And then we have another comment from Morgan that says the killer dance moves is what really moved you from acquaintance to best friend material. So the other girl that he's with is Morgan. And she says that he has killer dance moves. So <laughs> I'm like, are we going to see him on Dancing with the Stars after Michelle's season and his season? Like, I now need to know, like, he's 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 a double threat so far. He's a rapper and a dancer. Like, this guy is just blowing me away. Again, I, every photo we find out something new that surprises me. So, I, I mean, what else can we find out? I'm excited to see if we find out something else in this next photo, if we can uncover something being the Bachelor Nation detectives that we are on Clayton's Instagram right now. And last but certainly not least, we have this photo of Clayton in a tux. It says, honored to have been a small part in the new Mr. and Mrs. Leftwich's wedding. So clearly he's 28, right? He's at that age where his friends are getting married, people around him are getting married, maybe they are even having kids. So, I mean, he did the football thing. He's has a stable job. He's in a position where it's kind of time for him to move on to that next step. Clearly, we know from his captions, he's been dating on Tinder. So I think that him being The Bachelor is actually a great position for him to be in. You know, we have someone that's clearly serious about settling down. I mean, he's at that point in life. I mean, what do you think, Gabby? Do you agree? Yeah, totally. Look at him. He's all dressed up ready for a wedding. <laughs> I think once you get to that point where all of your friends are getting married around you, that kind of makes you stop and think like if you do want that um, and start putting more effort into that because a lot of time when you're single, you can just sort of talk yourself out of it, I guess. I mean, it looked like he was kind of trying to date people if he was on Tinder, but um, you can kind of say, okay, I'm going to focus on myself, you know, for this chunk of a few years. And then you start getting invited to a ton of weddings. Um, and it kind of just sparks that wedding fever. So I could definitely see that being an inspiration for wanting to go on The Bachelor and possibly find love on TV. I agree. I kind of think it's almost to a degree human nature. You experience certain things in life that you always wanted to experience, you know, be single, live your life, have fun, whatever. But then everyone eventually reaches a point, not everyone reaches it at the same time, but everyone does reach a point eventually where you're just ready to find a person that you can share your life with. You've done all the things you wanted to do solo, and now you're at a point to where you wanna take someone on in your life and share it with them and kind of merge two lives into one. So he seems like he's in that position, you know, he kind of seems like, I don't know how small Springfield is, uh, but it's not, I, I know that it's not like a huge, lavish city, like New York City or Los Angeles. So in my mind, it screams a little small town. So naturally, when you are, have people in a small town, they get married a little bit younger. He's, I'm sure a lot of his friends have been married. They've already committed to their life partners. Maybe they're even having kids. So naturally, that was kind of rub off on him. He did the football thing. He now is established in a career. He's been, you know, fishing in the dating scene for a little while now. He really <laughs> is like, he's perfect. Well, he's perfect bachelorette material, like as a contestant to go in the bachelorette. But he also is, you know, after all this deep diving we've been doing during this episode of Shared News, he's perfect Bachelor material. I mean, he really is going to deliver everything we want to see out of a Bachelor because I think he embodies everything that we want in a Bachelor as well. Exactly. And this photo to me is just helping me envision him, you know, standing up there giving out his roses. Like, look at, look at how good he looks in this suit you guys i just cannot wait to watch his season unfold but i am so glad that we got to learn more about him deep diving through his instagram and i hope we taught you guys something else about clayton 
as well. But for now, that is all we have for you. As always, we do want to know all your thoughts about Clayton below. Do you agree with the things we said? Do you have your own theories? Let us know down in the comments below. And as always, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. As always, you guys, I was your host, Gianna Gravelisi. I was joined by the lovely Gabby Gonta and Mariah Davis. Give us a follow. Come say hi. Our social handles are on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.